What's good world? We are back. Yep, with another quick video. Of course, we getting into it. What is the biggest is going on with our wonderful world today? And y'all, we're gonna get right into it, people. I am putting on my cap right now because I don't want to look crazy. I didn't cut my hair today. As you can see in the picture, I'm a bow head man. But you know, right now I'm a man with a cap on. You did? Just the guy with a cap. You know, well, I'm a musician with a cap, you know. Uh, a dope musician, uh, you know, Rudy Gosuale. Anyway, people, we're going to get right into it. The horrible truth about our Disney, you know, being a young teen, being a young, well, not teen, I was just, yeah, I was, a, I was kind of a preteen. I was 12 years old when I began in the music industry and I started performing live and doing all the wonderful things in our wonderful industry and the entertainment that we love. Um, so, I can understand where, you know, where this is about to go. I don't know what they're going to say. I have not seen this video, but you're going to see my response. <laughs> I have a lot in common with uh, young entertainers, you know what I mean? Um, I came from those shoes. I'm still in those shoes. So, yeah, we're going to see the raw truth. What happened to it? You did. Disney might be ruining the lives of your favorite celebrities. How? So everybody knows Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus, how they both work for Disney and everybody loves their yeah. music. I do. Right, yeah. but stars under Disney contract have said their lives were miserable and they're really restricted on what they can do in their daily life. Oh. I've heard a lot of Disney Channel stars say that it was very traumatizing. Yeah, so I read an article yes. that Disney stars have to approve the clothes they wear every day and they can't have wow. any bad words in their songs. And Disney made it very clear that if wow. they broke these rules, their contract would be over because they don't want to lose their kid-friendly image. I guess that makes wow. sense. Right, but there's a theory that Disney stars try to get fired on purpose so that Disney will end their contract, but the only way out is to break their rules. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, but a Radio Disney employee said that when Miley Cyrus released her song, Can't Be Tamed, the very next day, Disney canceled everything connected with Miley Cyrus and canceled her contract. Wow. I remember when that song came out. Right, so Disney stars break the rules and make inappropriate music on purpose, so Disney will end their contract and they can go live on their own career. So basically, they're uh, trying to get themselves fired. Did you know that Disney might be... That makes a lot of sense. You know... It makes a lot of sense um, to get out of a contract. I got to get drunk and high, and all intoxicated and stuff just to pull from a TV show that's for kids. So I'm a kid that's growing up and I have to get out of this. Well, I want to get out of this because it's, I want to grow up and they won't let me. So I got to get crazy and go out and make my image look bad so they can let me out of the contract anyway people i have a friend good friend hey that he he played drums for selena gomez and yep it was the same thing you know he couldn't sh put stuff on the internet he couldn't be out at parties drinking i mean this dude was a grown man and he couldn't do what grown people do. Which is weird and very w weird. And, uh, ah, anyway. So, Disney, you're doing great things over there. Uh, I think so. Uh, but I or love. Because they don't want to lose their kid friendly image. I guess that. They don't want to lose the kid friendly image. So, I, I, I don't want Disney to lose your kid friendly image. Uh, I like Disneyland. I think it's a wonderful place, you know. <laughs> Next video, people. <laughs> uh, I remember when that funny. song came out. Right, so have you heard of the iCarly theory? No. What if I told you that iCarly and Drake and Josh are in the same universe? Wait, how would that even work? So in Drake and Josh, there's a movie called Ick Glockma. And then in iCarly, there's the same movie, Ick Glockma. Also in Drake and Josh, there's a shoe company called Deka Shoes. And in the show, they're watching a Deka Shoe commercial. And then in iCarly, Deka Shoes is trying to hire Carly to advertise their shoes. Wow. And you know how Miranda Cosgrove was in Drake and Josh and also in iCarly? Guess who else was in Drake and Josh and in iCarly? Wow. Spencer. Yeah, so Spencer from iCarly also played He's Crazy Steve. Steve and Drake and Josh. There's a theory that Crazy wow. Steve actually killed Drake and Josh's family, but kept Megan and Drake alive. So Crazy what? Steve brainwashes Drake and Megan because he wants Megan to become his sister, and he kept Drake alive because he knew that he was the dumb one. And what he does is he has Megan change her name to Carly Shay and moves her to Seattle, leaving Drake in San Diego. That just got really dark. And then in iCarly, Drake actually comes back, and he goes, Megan, where's Josh? And where's mom and dad? Because he's starting to remember his past, but he can't remember where everybody went. That just wow. completely ruined my childhood. 
Have you heard of the iCarly? Yo, that is some dark stuff there. Nickelodeon, what are you doing over there? I mean, I'm not saying it's true. It's a theory. It's a theory. But, uh, old dude was pretty crazy. Like, he was like the wackiest one. I thought he was doing this on purpose. But it kind of makes sense as a character. He will have some type of mental illness or something that's really going on or some tragic happened. <clears throat> I'm not trying to take this dark. This is not be dark. Wow. Nickelodeon. Yikes. And that is our episode for today, people. I am going to get up out of here. Yes. You keep subscribing. I'll keep posting these videos. That's the whole goal of this videos. If you guys like these videos, every time you subscribe, every time I get a new subscriber, every day, I will post a new video. One subscriber a day is the goal, people. Chia, thank y'all for tuning in to a What The Biz podcast, and we are out of this thing. Chia.